I am going to make one more quick video to walk y'all through making a plugin in Sudorite. Again, plugins will be releasing to everybody pretty soon. They have an end goal of January for getting that out to everybody. So I want to help y'all feel more comfortable with actually creating them. So on our home screen right here, you'll have plugins. Click into that and you can create a plugin. Now, most of my plugins involve prompts that I've used elsewhere in Playground or ChatGPT for quite a while, so I know they work. I want to play around with doing some that I haven't tested out extensively, and that way y'all can see any corrections I need to make real time. So we are going to do, I want to do a subplot builder. I'm going to make this two subplots. There we go. And just a brief description. Again, it's two subplots for your story and rewrite the outline to include them. At least that is the goal right here. It should brainstorm the two subplots and then I want it to rewrite the outline to include those. In. Now I'm thinking about this real time. I could also ask it to just read the brain dump and then include two subplots. But I'm thinking I want this method in particular and if people want, an alternative, they could always use my prompt and modify it to just take from the brain dump. So let's go choose our category and there's nothing, nothing for outline really, but we'll go to narrative and plot. I'm going to enable genre characters in the outline. And I'm debating on whether brain dump should be included since it's bigger than outline. But I think I'm going to keep it simple. So genre, so it knows what genre we're writing in, characters, so it can pull the correct characters, and then outline so it can rewrite it. Let me change the instructions. Read the current outline for the story. Brainstorm. Ooh. I can tell you right now this is likely going to need tweaking just because of my wording here. So I'm asking it currently brainstorm two ideas for subplots. We're going to go with this and we'll adjust as needed. Not like using the current outline to include the two new subplots. I'm just going to jump down here and test it out with this preset story. So it gives us everything that's going into it. And that's currently at 24 chapters, 23 in a net below. Idea one, and we'll go in chapter six and a half, Mysterious Sightings. And I get that tied in nicely to that little story. Idea two for subplot. Don't want this one. Okay, so I would definitely need to reword that. I don't like how this one just really ran with the fantasy thing. Now we got fairies, trolls, and sprites. Might be okay for some, but I'm not liking it. Let's check out what it did. Okay, so it added these in. I need to adjust my prompting. It's no big deal, but a lot of people want this story Bible ready. And as of now, it's not. The chapters would need to be renumbered. I do really like the first subplot. So I think I'm going to change this and just have it add one subplot because it did really well with that. So crazy subplot. Read the current outline for this story. Brainstorm an idea for a subplot. We're at the outline, current outline to include the new subplot. I'm going to change this in case anybody has a hefty outline that they're highlighting. Let's choose Fix this real quick. All right, let's pick our model real quick. So I'm going to go with, I'm just going to stick with them, this one that's less moderated. And we will stick with this one. Maximum output of 2000, I think will be good. No, because they're highlighting 3000. I'm going to say for, oh, that's way too much. So we're going to say an additional 1000 for the subplot and run through this test again. And I didn't make my correction for the format. So, okay, similar to the other idea, which I did like. So, 
this subplot would further emphasize the importance of protecting the environment. Adapt to that one's character. And the format is actually coming out good with this one. All right. So, we, yeah, the format came out correct with this one. Because we didn't have 23 chapters in an epilogue. Now we have 24 in an epilogue. All right, that works. I'll just scroll back up here real quick. I'm actually going to unlist this one for now. Just because I like to test it out a few times with different stories and see if it needs to be tweaked any. But so far, this one worked out well. So again, you could publish it so everybody can have access. Or if you just want it for yourself and maybe share with a few people, you can leave it unlisted. So it's only visible to you. But you can still share it. So I'm going to go ahead and click to publish the plugin. And it will show up under the Yours tab right here. So let's do a second one. For this one, I'm going to grab a prompt here, another one for the outline. And this may actually turn into two plugins that I combine into one. But this plugin will break your outline down into a chapter list. It probably should say scene list. I will please turn this outline into a chapter list. Yeah, I actually like the idea of a scene list better. Story beat can be, let's say, fully this can be split into two or more chapters if appropriate. We would do genre and outline of oh, and character, just to make sure. So it's giving us the outline here and no difference. Not what I'm wanting anyways. No. So that one is a definite fail. So please read the current outline and rewrite this outline into a seamless covering all 15 story beats. Let's try thinking of the different wording. And that's something you will see whenever you're playing around with prompting and everything. The AI views a lot of things differently than we do. Please read the current outline and rewrite this outline into a seamless covering all 15 story beats. Story beat can be split into two or more chapters if appropriate to advance. And if you missed the statement in my other video, my steady state instructions always go in the system box. So I just remove it from the user box and put it in the system box. We will use this one again. Maximum output, we will do. There we go. This one, as you can see, is still. Pretty much a fail. There should be a lot more than this. This is still just, this is basically just breaking up those chapters from the current, the previous outline into the scene list here. That's not what I'm wanting. So that one is a fail. Make sure that one stays unlisted, which it is. And that's one I could always come back to later and correct. This isn't something I actually use in mind. It was just an example I wanted to give y'all for doing the plugins. I'm just going to, actually, I'm not even going to worry about publishing that one since it's such a fail. I'm just going to back out of that so it's not there. And you can see just the other one with the subplots is here. So let's try one more since that one was a fail. Let's do character backstories. And we're going to go through genre, brain dump, and characters. Create a character backstory for your main protagonist and antagonist. This backstory should reveal why characters, the way they do in the story, and know how their backstory and their action in the story. There we go. Create a back, character backstory for your main protagonist. For the main protagonist and antagonist. Delete that. Second one sounds better. Show how their backstory affects their actions in the story. Run that test. A backstory. I like it. The antagonist had a troubled childhood marked by neglect and lack of compassion from those around him. Drives his actions. Opportunistic nature takes over. I like it. 
So this is one again. I would leave it unlisted while I tested it in other stories. I'm going to go ahead, click unlisted, do my advanced stuff here. And if you're curious about these, I do have, I explain all of the hyperparameter settings and the different ways that you can change these up to focus on your prompt and what it needs. So those are in my GPT and Playground book. It's the third book in my AI for Authors series. So you have lots of prompts, plus lots of hyperparameter settings that you can play with. And I'm going to leave that at 2000. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this one. Like I said, I'm going to test it out with a few more stories. Just change up that preset story or go into my ones already set. Make sure it still works good before I actually release it to everyone. So that is it. He said they are pretty straightforward, easy to do. I created all of these just within the last few days, um, maybe a week, but I don't even think it's been that long. So I was able to do all these within a few days again. If you have a prompt that you're constantly using inside ChatGPT, Playground, Claude, whatever, you can take that prompt, slightly modify it, and you can create a plugin from it. Thank y'all very much. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.